Hello everybody and welcome back to Living Brick Animation. Today we have the Rebel Battle Pack. You can buy it for $12.99 at most stores selling Legos. Now let's have a look at the minifigures. Right here we have the Human Rebel Trooper from this Battle Pack. He just wears regular Rebel Battle um, Tatooine clothes and he is a standard, one of those actual firing guns. If you guys haven't seen those before, if you just hit this button, the gun will shoot. So, also, on the back, this guy has one of those jump packs. You might recognize it if you've ever played Star Wars Battlefront. They're actually quite simple to use. It's just a one-by-one -one standard tile brick on top of a piece that goes around his neck and then you put the headpiece on and it just stays there and then down at the bottom you put on two clear blue stud pieces our second mini figure is a rebel driver I would say I'm not necessarily sure about him he uses the same gun as the last guy one of the actual firing guns and he does not have a jetpack but on his head you could take off his goggles, visor, whatever it is, and you can put it lower. Like that, so he has light protection now. Yay. Over here we have a Rodian Rebel Trooper with a more heavy-duty gun. Still an actual firing blaster, just has a faucet piece on the back. And our last guy is a Duros. He has an actual firing gun, just a regular one. And on the back, he has a jump pack as well. All of these troopers, if you look at them closely, they each have a different combination of clothes on them. So this guy has like an overcoat with weirdo pants. And this guy has a bandolier shirt with the same pants as him. That guy has the overcoat with darker pants and he has the bandolier shirt with darker pants so it's all a different combination now let's look at the speed as that comes with the set here is our rebellion speeder that comes with the rebel battle pack on the front left side if you're looking at it from the front there is an actual firing stud shooter as a brick that you can put on the set it's only on the left side, though, not on the right. The other side, it's just some girl pieces, but if you zoom out on all of it, the controls are similar to the speeder bike, where they have that wheel axle frame, and then they have the robot arm, and then they have the faucet pieces there. So a minifigure could put his hands on that and drive it. The overall design is similar to the speeder bike, too. Now let's put the minifigure that drives this bike on here, so we can get a feel for how it works. Please hold. This is the Rebel Driver minifigure on the speeder bike. You have to lean him forward a little bit so he can get those pieces, I just didn't put them on. And for the convenience and speed of the video, I don't want to keep you waiting for it. So, on the back, there's supposed to be something, like, mounted there on that little gray piece. It's actually on the Rodian right now. So, let's put this on. So, there you go. You have your back-mounted thing. <clears throat> mm, the Rodian controlling that blaster, you could just see him on the back. So the speeder can be driving. And he's just like, yay, we're driving a speeder. And he's like, okay, I'll watch out for enemies. And then up here, the little gun's like, okay, whatever, I'll just shoot. So that is our speeder bike and our, minifig our other minifigures, the human and the Doros. They just stand there and they come along the side. I'm gonna put his little missile back in there. Okay. 
So these are the two rebel minifigures that are on the ground. They both have the same gun. And um the different clothes, but they're generally similar. They're Tatooine rebel clothes. And they both have the jump pack on them. So that's basically it for the Rebel Battle Pack. We'll see you next time on Living Brick Animation. And may the force be with you.